What if Goku was born a legendary Super Saiyan? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 17? I will not let you destroy my world! You see this? This is Goku! If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and don't forget to click that bell that you'll be the first to know any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion where we do a what if discussion on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball GT. Previously on what if Goku was born a legendary Super Saiyan. We mentioned that the tournament of power was being held as all the fighters were giving everything they got into the battle. Gohan went and he fought with Kefla as she went and turned into a Super Saiyan 2, overpowering all the fighters there but it wasn't nothing that Gohan couldn't handle as he went and he transformed into a Super Saiyan Blue and he beat Kefla and knocking her out of the bounds. Vegeta went and he fought Topo as Topo went and used his God of Destruction power against Vegeta, pushing it to a corner and from there, Vegeta went and transformed to a Super Saiyan Blue evolution and he beat him. While Goku went and fought Jiren as they were going head to head and from there Jiren trained every day just for this moment so he can fight Goku inside a tournament of power and prove that he's stronger. As he went all out and from there Goku went and transformed into a Master Ultra Instinct overpowering Jiren big time and from there he went and knocked him out of the arena as Goku won the battle. Everyone lost except for Universe 7 as Goku went and restored all the universes and from there he now has a wish to become the strongest fighter in the multiverse. Find out what happens inside this part. What if Goku was born a legendary Super Saiyan part 17? We are going to go back in time, back when planet Vegeta was still alive. Everyone was trying to go and complete their mission for Frieza so he can give them a reward. While two Saiyans were born with legendary Super Saiyan Ki. One was Goku but it was kept hidden and the other one was a Saiyan named Broly. Once every thousand year a legendary Super Saiyan is born. But during this year, the Saiyans were gifted to have two Saiyans born with legendary Super Saiyan Ki. King Vegeta saw that Broly's power level was too high and that he didn't want to accept it and from there, he decided to go and send Broly to a remote planet called Planet Vampa because he did not want to accept that Broly is stronger than Vegeta. As he went and threw Broly out of Planet Vegeta and Paragus, Broly's dad, went along with him and lived there. Ever since they arrived to Planet Vampa, their only mission was to survive inside that planet. As every day, Paragus trained with Broly and tried to get him stronger and from there, they managed to survive until today. Frieza's man came to Planet Vampa and from there they saw two Saiyans. Paragus said that he is going to pledge allegiance with Broly to their leader. As they went and took Broly and Paragus to their leader and they found out that King Cold was their leader. He was brought back with the Dragon Balls as they went to Earth and they tried to wish back Frieza but Shenron couldn't bring back Frieza as he's been already wished back once before with the Dragon Balls. So from there Frieza's man decided to go and bring back King Cold as he has now become the leader of Frieza's man. King Cold saw Broly and Paragus and from there they told that they're ready to pledge their allegiance towards him. King Cold then decided to go to Earth and let Broly go and kill Goku and Vegeta so that he can get his revenge. As he laughed and said, <laughs> Very well, let's see how strong the Saiyans are. We are going to go to a planet called Planet Earth. I need to get my revenge on those Saiyans that killed my son. Yes, of course, sir. We're ready to do anything. After all, Broly and I hate Saiyans. As they went and made their way towards planet Earth. Back on Earth, 
Goku has now become a uncle as Raditz's baby boy grew to be one years old. They named him Turtles as he went and was very fond by his uncle and Goku loved him a lot. Raditz wasn't the only one. Videl and Gohan also had a baby and they named her Pan. She too has now turned one years old and therefore Goku has now become a grandfather and a uncle. Nappa baby girl was one years old as she was born during the Tournament of Power and he named her Kimchi. Vegeta's daughter Bola was turning two years old today as one year has passed since the Tournament of Power. Boma threw a birthday party for Bola as she was turning two and everyone came and that's when they all saw each other. Beers and Weez were also invited to Bola's birthday party as they came to Earth to attend the party. They were all very happy to see one another and they're all enjoying having a very good time. Trunks and Goten got a lot stronger but not as much because they're more into doing shenanigans than training and giving Grandpa Gohan a lot of stress. Everyone was really enjoying each other's company and they were all having a good time. Throughout the one year gap after the Tournament of Power, they all went and trained as Goku went and he trained with Whis and Daishinkin at Daishinkin's palace. Android 17 and Piccolo including Majin Buu were very motivated to train with each other and get a lot stronger. Gohan went to Goku and said, Father, I want to see how strong you are. Fight me and let's see. <laughs> of course Gohan, let's do it. As they decide to go and spar with one another. They were going at it. Meanwhile, King Cole has now arrived on Earth as Broly and Paragus were ready to take on the Saiyans, especially Vegeta, since they have a grudge against his father. Back on Goku and Gohan's training, Goku's power grew so much after the Tournament of Power to the point while sparring with Gohan, Vegeta came in as he wanted to see just how powerful Goku's got and he went and started to fight Goku. Goku was holding his own against Vegeta and from there Vegeta went and he transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue while Goku was in his base form. They were going at it as Goku was holding his own against Vegeta even as a Super Saiyan Blue, Goku was using his base form and he proved to be stronger as he went and decked him very hard. Vegeta got up and he screamed as he went and transformed to his Super Saiyan Blue evolution and he rushed to attack Goku but Goku went and punched Vegeta very hard and kicked him to the ground. Gohan saw that and he went and transformed to a Super Saiyan Blue and he charged at Goku. As Goku saw and he went and used his Uzaru Wrath form and from there they were equally tied. Gohan was going all out while Goku was going very easy and from there he went and fused his Kaioken with his Uzaru Wrath form and he one shot Gohan to the ground. Everyone was very impressed as Beerus saw Goku has got a lot stronger and said, Hmm, well Goku, let's see where I stand against you. Beerus came to fight Goku as he went and transformed to a Super Saiyan God and Beerus went full power and they went at it. Goku went and dodged all of Beerus attack and then from there he punched him in his stomach and he started to beat the crap out of Beerus. Being completely surprised by Goku's power, Whis came to Goku and said, Hmm, I'm very impressed Goku. How about after this party, you and I will go at it to see where you stand. Perhaps you might surpass me. <laughs> I'll love that Whis. King Cold has now arrived on Earth as their spaceship went and landed on an ice mountain. Once when they got there, Everyone sensed the evil danger energy that's coming from far west. They saw a ship that looks completely like Frieza's spaceship as the door opened and they saw King Cold came out along with two men. What are you doing here and why did you come to my planet? Oh, looks like we got quite a team waiting for us. <laughs> well, 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 where is that Saiyan that killed my son? Hmm, he's me, what do you want? Hmm, well, if that's true, then I'll let my man handle you. As Broly and Paragus came forward, and Goku saw and noticed that they were Saiyans. Vegeta saw Broly as he felt a little scared and nervous sensing his power level. What? What's going on? Why, 
Why are there Saiyans? I thought they all died. Hmm. Paragus, I'll let you go and have your fun. Very well, my lord. Thank you. Broly and Paragus saw Vegeta as they got very mad and they remembered King Vegeta. Look, I'll only say this once. Leave this planet and no one will get hurt. Otherwise, you will be sorry. Broly, attack! Start with Vegeta! As Broly went and he rushed at Vegeta and their battle began. Broly went and started to kick Vegeta's ass. As they were going at it, Vegeta saw just how powerful Broly was and from there he went and he transformed into a Super Saiyan God. But that wasn't enough for Broly as Broly went and kicked his ass even as a Super Saiyan God. Goku was very surprised to see a Saiyan going at it with Vegeta. Vegeta then went and he transformed into a Super Saiyan Blue as Paragus and King Cold got very surprised and scared. Vegeta went and started to kick Broly's ass but from there Broly went and tried to attack Vegeta but he punched him very hard and threw a final flash at Broly as it hit him head on. Android 17 and Boo came to King Cold as they went to attack him but he tried to fight them back but 17 went and he killed King Cold. The rest of the Z Fighters went to attack King Cold's man as Bardock went and punched Paragus in the face and told him to get his senses. Goku was very impressed that Vegeta beat Brawly but then Brawly went and started to scream as he went and he powered up to his Uzaru Wrath form. Goku saw that and he got very surprised as he couldn't believe that Broly was a legendary Super Saiyan because only legendary Super Saiyan has the ability to use the Uzaru Wrath form. He then went straight to Vegeta and started to attack him as Vegeta saw and he went and transformed into a Super Saiyan Blue. He flew towards Broly and they started to fight. Broly went and he punched him very hard. Vegeta managed to dodge some of his attack and try to kick him back but it didn't phase Broly. Goku was extremely amazed as he wanted to fight Broly. Broly went and kicked Vegeta very hard and they noticed that Broly was getting stronger as he was fighting. Paragus laughed and said, <laughs> You foolish Saiyans! I trained him every day for this day to kill Vegeta and all of you who support him. Broly is the legendary Super Saiyan! Bardock went and punched Paragus and told him to get his senses but he didn't want to listen to Bardock as he tried to kill Bardock. Broly went to attack Vegeta but then he got kicked in the face by Gohan as he was inside his Super Saiyan Blue state. Broly tried to attack Gohan but Gohan went and he kicked his ass as he wasn't a match for him and right there Nappa, Raditz and even Android 17 and Piccolo all came and they started to attack Broly non-stop. Gohan went and punched him as hard as he can but from there Broly threw a blast at Gohan but they managed to dodge it. Bardock went and beat up Paragus as Paragus didn't stand a chance against him. Paragus tried to kill Bardock but Vegeta killed him. Broly saw that Paragus has died as it got him extremely mad and from there he went and he transformed to his legendary Super Saiyan as he went and beat the shit out of all the Z fighters and they all fainted. Goku smiled as he came and kicked Broly right in the face and Goku and Broly battle began. Broly went and tried to attack Goku inside his legendary Super Saiyan state while Goku went and he transformed to his Super Saiyan Blue and he was handling Broly like if it was nothing. Broly tried to attack Goku but Goku was too strong for him. He then went and powered up a racer cannon and threw it at Goku as Goku dodged it and he went and transformed to his own legendary Super Saiyan and said, You don't stand a chance, Broly. I too am a legendary Super Saiyan. <laughs> Is that so? I have another form, Kakarot. Huh?
as Broly has now went and transformed to a Super Saiyan 4. Seeing that got Goku very nervous as Broly was inside his legendary Super Saiyan form but using it as a Super Saiyan 4. Broly went and attacked Goku but Goku went and punched him as hard as he can but it didn't phase him. Broly then went and powered up to attack Goku with the attack as he went and used 70% making his power level come to be at 800 quadrodecillion. He went and grabbed Goku and started to beat the shit out of him. Goku found himself stuck as he smiled and said, Wow, I never thought you'd be that strong, Brawly. I went through a lot of training, but I couldn't achieve that form that you have right there, but I have something better. I don't care what you got, Kakarot. I will kill you. Is that so? Goku has now transformed into his Master Ultra Instinct, making his power level come to be at 100 octodecillion. Broly couldn't comprehend just how powerful Goku was as he has never sensed such a power in his life. Goku then smiled and said, I will only use 5% against you. As he went and kicked Broly very hard, he then went right towards him and punched him in the face as Brawly got very scared. Goku went and powered up a Kamehameha wave as Brawly tried to attack him with everything he's got and threw a eraser cannon at Goku but Goku went and let it hit him head on as it didn't phase him and from there he went and punched Brawly in the face as Brawly fell right to the ground and Goku was about to power up a Kamehameha wave to kill him but then Goku stopped as he looked towards Brawly and put out his hand for Brawly to shake it. You are the second strongest opponent I have ever faced. It'll be a shame to kill you. Why don't you join us and live here to protect this planet? Uh, sure. As Brawly agreed and he shook Goku's hand. Goku and Brawly has now become friends as he has now joined the Z fighters. Goku went and gave everyone a sense of being as they all recovered and he went right back to Brawly and gave him a sense of being. You're very strong Kakarot. How can that be? I'm also a legendary Super Saiyan. <laughs> I have a lot of training. That's why I became this strong. But like I said, you are very strong Brawly. You're the second strongest person I've ever fought. Who's first? His name is Jaren. He will always be number one. As I remembered, he pushed me beyond my limits and this guy made me become the fighter I am. Seeing someone like him exist pushed me to be even stronger. Find out what happens as Goku's adventure continues as there's the evil wizard who has now entered planet Namek and he's doing a lot of shenanigans and killing all the innocent life. His name is Moro. Find out what happens in the next episode of What If Goku Was Born a Legendary Super Saiyan Part 18.